It's Ryan Hargan with One Off Fabrication and Hawk Wings. Uh, we make sprint car wings, micro sprint wings, cage cart wings, and uh, we do custom fab work. We're located in Jackson, Minnesota, and uh, today we just want to show you a new pit uh, cart mule build we did for a customer. Uh, this is going out later this week. Uh, we're pretty proud of it. We thought we'd just show it off a little bit and show you what we can do for you if you've got a custom project you want done. So. This particular unit is a Kawasaki Mule, which is super common with uh, a lot of sprint car teams. Um, they call it the war wagon, pit cart, what have you. Um, we'll just do a walk around and show you what we did. First off, we did a custom bumper, push bumper for the front. It's, um, it's all made out of aluminum and TIG welded. We customized that to the existing stock bumper, so you still had the side protection. A lot of the other ones on the market just have the center, so we kept this. Uh, the customer wanted that, which I thought was a great idea. Second thing is we've got the basic um, axle rack, rear end rack on the back or on the front to house your, your spare axles and rear ends. We've got the nose wing holder on the front. Um, one thing we added on this unit is a custom flip down front tray. We're going to have shocks in here. On the other side, we're going to have tear offs. Uh, a good area for the driver to work on his on his helmet, he's out of the way, while the crew's in the back of the unit working in the toolbox or what have you. This is a really good idea, I thought. Uh, uh, it, was, it was a great idea by the customer, so we did that for this particular build. Um, one thing we do, this does have a Honda 2000 watt generator built into the unit, um, so you've got full power, so you're completely uh, self-contained. Um, side storage. So we've got adjustable shelves in this side, um, fully adjustable carpet line. We're going to come back to this. Well, well, we'll show this off. This is a uh, cord reel. You can swing it out. You can also pull it out the back. We've got a uh, plug-in air uh, coil. And then our the way we do our, uh, our air reel is a little bit different, but it's super sano, clean, and uh, functional. This side, we've got the fuel compartment. We hold four fuel cans in here. We've got 175 PSI air compressor, LED lights built in the, the entire unit, and a wheel wrench will go here. We use air shocks in all the doors. All the doors are custom lined. This is a gear, um, gear tray for changing gears. Um, this will house gears and then radius rods will go in this particular cabinet. And notice we do uh, wheel covers, fender flares, um, we've got the ladder rack going up the side to get on the roof. Uh, we do diamond plate, we can either do diamond plate or we can do a smooth top. Um, this particular build we did diamond plate. And on the top we do have a, uh, a spot for um, uh, to grab onto a rope to pull yourself up. And then in the back, where all the action happens, we've got a flip-up top. We do a fully enclosed rear end on our units. I think they're a little cleaner. Um, obviously, we didn't build this toolbox, but uh, it's a fantastic value for toolboxes. U.S. US General, um, Harbor Freight. I mean, they make a great product for the, for the it's, a, it's a tremendous value. LED lights, um, pull out air. We've got the, the 110 pulls out here with, with three plug-ins um, and everything's enclosed. So that's one thing we like to do. And, and truly each one of these are one off. They're, they're a custom build. Um, we've got the aerosol can holder in the top with our logo put into it. And uh, that's our pick cart. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, you can call us 507-327-1908. Thanks.